Thank you very much. Uh, I, I think I have to start with my own story because I, I had hand surgery myself and I had no splint afterwards and that was now uh, 15 years ago and hand is still fine so with, with this we could end and just <laughs> be of one opinion but uh, no, the, there's also evidence for, for the other side and let's have a look at that and uh, first of all uh, we're getting these reports, these anecdotal stories from patients, and here are some. The first one I mentioned already, but I also have another one. I had in my PIP joint, I had collagenase injection, and uh, the result was pretty good. So it, there was a little bit left over of maybe, I don't know, 10% or something. And I wore, was wearing a night splint for 14 months. And th that maintained uh, the correction perfectly. But eventually, I, I felt inconvenient with it and felt that the hand is getting stiffer, also during the day, no, not only in the first 15 mi uh, minutes or so, but during the day. And then I stopped using it. And within three months, uh, I had recurrence with, in about the same situation as it was before the injection. <clears throat> And here are a few more examples. One is uh, a patient with eight surgeries and one PNF. And uh, after interviewing him, his, to, to his impression is uh, you need to have splinting in case you have a joint which already has the tendency to bend back. So if it's an initial uh, small uh, MCP maybe uh, joint, then you probably won't need it. But he said uh, he, he always has the feeling that he had to have it after his uh, surgeries and also after his PNF. Another one, uh, uh, Rainer Z, is uh, wore night splints for three months, uh, as it was advised. And after that, he, he was wearing it on and off. Whenever he felt it's bending back, he put the night splint on for a week or two. And uh, since then, he has maintained uh, the results over eight and three years, respectively. Uh, then we had one uh, patient uh, from the US. And uh, after the first PNF, no splinting. And after the second PNF, uh, different, by a different doctor, he, he was advised to wear a splint. And this has helped immeasurably. So it's just a story. And uh, finally, there's one uh, patient who had been wearing consistently a splint over three years, maintaining the results of the PNF. And uh, then uh, he lost the splint when moving elsewhere and didn't wear it anymore and had a very quick recurrence. So at least this shows an effect of splinting. <clears throat> and to further convince you, here's a, another example uh, supplied by Albrecht Meinl. It's a patient prior to PNF, after PNF, and, uh, well, you, you can read yourself. Five weeks after splinting, you can see how the hand opens further beyond the results of the PNF, and, and that's very obvious. And after 15 months of splinting, uh, the hand has improved dramatically. So uh, this is, uh, again, anecdotal, but now by a hand surgeon and uh, a very obvious effect of splinting. And finally, uh, a data or a study from Katie Ball and Jacob Nanchehal. And uh, this is a small study, only six patients, even, even less than the ones which you uh, showed. And uh, different to what we were talking so far, this is a trial. Uh, does splinting help without prior treatment? So uh, looking at patients uh, who had MCP or, uh, and pre-splintage uh, contracture, well, two degrees is probably difficult to measure, but 10 degrees, 80, 30, or something. And then they were wearing a splint w without treatment. And you can see how the splint improved the contracture, and uh, uh, they were able to open the finger more. And, and that continued, and in, for patient three, for example, the result was uh, pretty impressive. 
for others it, it became stable. And uh, finally, after six months, 22 months, then they, they were lost to follow up, but the only one, number four, uh, which went uh, to, uh, uh, to 24 months, still had uh, maintained the result, basically. And my proposal is splinting is not required for simple first-time surgeries, for example, a 20-degree MCP, which I have here, and uh, <laughs> I could get along without it. Splinting is beneficial for surgeries of recurrence or fingers that already have adjusted to the contracture and would tend to get back quickly, and also for minimal, minimal invasive techniques. And uh, most importantly, splinting helps as long as the patient is wearing the splint. Uh, uh, when the splinting is stopped, the uh, recurrence will probably be relatively uh, quick. There's no time period after which the result is stable. So uh, you can't say if you wear it three months, then you're great. No, a 12 month won't help. And uh, with this one patient, if, even after three years of splinting, when you stopped splinting, he had quick recurrence. So uh, finally, splinting can even be used as a preventive measure without prior treatment. Uh, that is, there's indication of that. And with this, thank you. I hope I made my point. Thank you.